hardly. Many call Atia Khan Pakistan's first supermodel. Two decades ago, her face was plastered on billboards across the country. But weary of the limelight, she retired at 21, then embarked on a study of Sufism. Her spiritual U-turn was a contradiction for many who viewed her as a rebel beauty queen. Why is the feminine energy kind of split into two? Why do you have to either be, you know, the Virgin Mary or the whore? I mean, you know, why can women not embrace different aspects and be proud of, of um, you know, different aspects of, of, of themselves? And in this Islamic country, Atia, now a twice-divorced mother of two, sought room to find herself away from prying eyes behind the hijab. It's not a traditional garment to Pakistan, but it is gaining popularity. I was very, very sort of modern, and then I did the hijab, and now I'm sort of in between. I'm trying to figure out what are the energy dynamics behind it, and what, um, what is the inner hijab? I mean, how do you um, hold yourself in such a way that, um, you know, you're not giving the wrong impression? And the impression she wants to make now is one of empowerment. Using her superstar clout, Atia plans to introduce a line of hip hijabs onto the Pakistan fashion scene. Okay. And what I basically wanted to present was um, a much stronger feminine um, attitude even with the hijab because normally when you think of um, a woman in hijab you think of someone you know repressed or timid and I wanted to break that stereotype. Her collection debuted at Islamic Fashion Week in Malaysia and she's now preparing for Pakistan's next round of shows once again adding her own unique take on the modern and spiritual woman to the world of fashion.